Hi, I'm Susan Blaine and welcome. I'm here with Paul Meek. Hello. And this is the second time we've been That's together right. in this format. Exactly. But Paul is president and owner of Kitchissippi Beer Company. It's a local brewery here in Ottawa. Uh, and kbeer.ca is the website. Hi, welcome to Sharing with Susan B, telling stories from the heart. We're looking to inspire, telling stories of struggle, vulnerability, and lessons learned. In university, you got your bachelor's in commerce and a major in human resources, which Correct. would come in handy as a business exactly. owner later in For life. Sure. Uh, some of your student jobs when you were in university were, and this is where it all began, folks. <laughs> yes. Uh, well, you were a Pepsi rep for St. Mary's University. Correct. Then you were a milk marketing board rep. Correct. Alexander Keats rep. So the Alexander Keats rep at, on campus in Halifax, it's a pretty sweet gig. Yeah, I bet yeah. it was. Um, and then you said it sort of, you, you veered your path a little bit. You got into, uh, fin you became a financial advisor at TD Bank after graduating, but you s quickly realized that that wasn't your thing. Yeah, so what was interesting was I had an opportunity to stay on full time with Alexander Keats in Halifax. Um, but Kelly, my, my wife, yeah. um, she's pretty cute. And she said, look, I'm going to Toronto <laughs> and, you know, you should come with me because I'm cute. And so I said, okay, I'll go with you and we'll figure out jobs up there. So give up the, the beverage world for a little bit and, and move it back up to sort of the eastern part of Toronto and Pickering Scarborough area. Well, and Toronto too, financial city. I mean, For sure. Well, so you got into that, but you quickly learned it wasn't. So you went back into the beverage world. That's right. uh, you were an inside sales rep for Labatt's Brewery, uh, grocery store sales for Pepsi. That's so right. You, uh, LCBO for a number of years in sales for Smirnoff, Bailey's, Johnny Walker, Sleeman Breweries, imported beer and wine. Exactly. So here's the pattern, folks. <laughs> and then you and your wife, Kelly, started Kitchissippi Beer Company in 2010. That's right. Uh, and you just recently uh, moved your brewery from one location to another. That's right. And yeah, we were in the Carling and the Queensway area, sort of big, by that big gold corral building. Yeah. And it was a great building. It did, had good bones. But it was, a, it was a backdoor brewery. Like all the beer went out the back door on a truck. We didn't really have that front door experience for the yeah. customers. And we thought, you know, by moving to a new location where we can engage the customer directly would be a good move for us uh, at this stage of the game. Yeah, and, and in Bell's Corners, uh, it's a great location. I went to the grand opening that's a couple right. weeks that's ago, that's which awesome. was awesome. Um, I'm not a beer drinker, but they have great root beer. <laughs> that's did, right. Did, because your root beer is also a family recipe too, right? Yes, that's right. So yeah, so we started Harvey and Vern's Old Fashioned Soda. So Harvey's my grandfather, yeah. Vern's my father-in-law. So we sold off, uh, after five years, we sold off the grocery side of that business, but kept the, the draft, the keg side of the business. So we still make kegs for the, the, the brewery. And it's delicious. Yes, root beer and, and ginger beer, beautiful stuff. Oh yeah, and you made me a great root beer float. I'll be back for that. <laughs> we, we made you two. You did, clear. I yes. did, that's true. Let's just clarify. Yeah. <laughs> that's true, I do. And a Reuben sandwich, which was really good. Entrepreneurship is glamorous to a lot of people, but mm -hmm. uh, there, it isn't without struggle. For sure. Uh, so what's been your biggest business struggle so far? Well, we, early on, we, we quickly learned that, you know, I knew how to sell beer. I did not know how to run a brewery. <laughs> so we made some mistakes. We made some financial mistakes. We made some tax mistakes. Uh, there was literally a tax that we didn't know we had to pay that uh, the government called up and like, hey, you haven't paid us in six months. We're like, who are you? <laughs> and what, what do you mean I have to pay you? So little things like that that we definitely... Um, you know, we were quite honestly ignorant in, in the true sense of the word. So that was, and we sort of, it took us a while to dig ourselves out of that hole. Yeah. Um, but th those were big things. We just literally didn't know certain things. We didn't know what we didn't know. And, yeah. Uh, so that well, was that's it. in the beginning, the biggest struggles for sure. Uh, yeah. And it, that's the best way to learn though, right? Exactly. And you're still here. Exactly. And you're first starting with a new location. Mm -hmm. What about personal struggle? Oh, well, for sure. The personal struggle for me has always been the balance of home and life. And yeah. in particular, my weight, you know, it's one of those things where, you know, when you're, when you're an entrepreneur, there's a lot of chaos and there's a lot of, you know, there's no nine to five, here's my lunch break, here's my coffee break kind of stuff. Yeah. So a lot of times you know, I'm eating on the go and I'm, you know, not eating properly and not, you know, getting the proper amount of water into me and stuff like that. So my weight's been, you know, a good a good yo-yo and often yo-yoing up more than down over the last nine years. So that's definitely an ongoing struggle for sure. And I mean, you were, uh, you know, not only running a business, you're a father, you're a husband, you're, uh, you know, a caregiver too, right? Correct. Yeah. Um, so, and then we talked about, you know, the idea of putting the oxygen mask on you that's first, right. right? That's right. So that you can. And that's the thing. I, did, I didn't always do that, right? It was yeah. one of those, you know, Kelly had had her issues that had to be taken care of. And my son's diabetic. And, you know, we went through those struggles as well. That was always the running joke, right? Kelly's in the wheelchair. Alexander's diabetic. And I'm the healthy one. We're screwed, <laughs> right? Oh, my God. Why do people hate it? You know, God hates us so much, right? So little, little, little. But that's how we sort of dealt with it. It was by having, you had to make a joke. You had to have some 
So you had to lighten it up a little bit, otherwise you'd probably drive yourself crazy. Yeah. So. Uh, and Alexander now is working with you in the business. That's right. It's, it's great to have him. And he's, he's learning. He's starting from the ground up, working in the back, yeah. cleaning the kegs and cleaning the tanks and brewing the beer. And He's a lovely young man. Thank you very much. Uh, and you guys did a good job. And I met your mom and dad, too, and they're lovely That's people. right. Yeah, they're yeah. very proud. Uh, and he's getting you to bike to work every day. Not How's yet. that going? Not every day yet. No? But it's a, I'm doing a lot more walking at work, but uh, we've got about an eight-kilometer bike ride from Stittsville into Bell's Corners for the brewery, and we've been biking a few times, so it's definitely helping out. I'm trying to work, you know, work on some good food and good water intake, and then have a balance of some light exercise good at the plan you. right now. So well, you'll a, get there. Yeah, we're very happy you'll with that. You'll get there. Yeah. Uh, so what have you learned from some of the struggle? Oh, what have the I learned? The unsexy part of the business. The unsexy part of the business is that it's every you know, when you're an entrepreneur, people think that you have no boss, right? Yeah. Um, but you know, the customer is, is your boss. Yeah. You know, it gets we're nine years in, and on this long weekend, I personally was out doing three deliveries: Saturday morning and Sunday afternoon. You know, it's one of those. We're nine and a half years old. I have thirty employees, and the owner is doing deliveries to restaurants. You know, on the August long weekend. So again, that whole balance set of things, you just got to, you know, to uh, define that balance. So you're still yeah. enjoying some family time, still enjoying some downtime to recharge the batteries, but still taking care of your customers. And I know one of the things that we talked about too is, and that Kelly really uh, helped keep you on track there. Um, and she passed recently. That's right. She passed April 8th. In April. Uh, but she was, you know, in terms of keeping the business local, because there was a time where you were tempted for sure. Yeah, there's a time, you know, when you get a call from a grocery store and, you know, in Toronto, Windsor, London, Ontario, and it's, your law boss is calling and saying, hey, we want your beer in, and, you know, sales aren't looking too good that month, you take that sale, right? Because it's one of those things you, you need the revenue, you need yeah. to, to make it work good, to work. Um, when Kelly passed away, you know, there was, you know, I don't wish her away by any means, but it definitely gives us an opportunity to reflect on, maybe we have lost our way a little bit, but we have sort of gone off the original plan. You know, Kelly, mm -hmm. Kelly always said she wanted to be the keys of Ottawa. She's a proud Nova Scotia girl. Yeah. And wanted one of those things where you come to Ottawa, you go to the Parliament buildings, you go to the canal and you have a kitchen city beer. Come that was that was her vision. Yeah. And uh, so this was a nice little opportunity for us to say, you know what, this is what Kelly wanted. We sort of lost our way a little bit and we need to get back on brand and back on focus in terms of what she wanted us to do, you know, nine and a half years ago. And you have a beautiful picture of her there. Yeah. Help She's a beautiful lady. She is a beautiful lady. Um, what advice would you give your younger self? Definitely, definitely more balance. You know, to find yeah. more balance in terms of home and life kind of thing. It's uh, you know, Kelly had a lot of sayings, and one of those was, you know, nobody ever, you know, nobody's ever on their deathbed and wishes to spend more time in the office, right? So, you know, um, <laughs> but but there, you do need to, to find that more balance so that I can take care of myself and the family and the business together because it's one of those things. It sounds selfish to say you got to take care of yourself, but the fact that there's so many people relying on me with the business and with the it's family. The oxygen mask, right. man. I mean, yeah. there's a lot of wisdom to that. For sure. You know, you've got to put it on yourself first or you're not yeah, good to anybody exactly. else. So, yeah, so it's literally one of those, by doing that, it's not as selfish as it feels like it is, yeah. but it really is, you know, for the greater good. Yeah, 100%. How about some rapid-fire questions? Sure, learn some Let's fun facts about Paul. Who is your favorite superhero? Wolverine. Wolverine, yeah, yeah. why? He's, he's a little he's broken. Cool, he's cool, he's, he's very cool. He's Canadian. Mm -hmm. He's a little broken, um, but uh, he's pretty badass, and yeah. I like him. We're all a little broken, aren't we? For sure, for sure. <laughs> uh, favorite food indulgence? I like a big juicy steak. Big juicy yeah. steak, oh yeah. Well, you can go keto, big juicy steak. That's for steak. sure, <laughs> that's for sure. Uh, someone you admire? Definitely my son. Yeah. You know, like he's one of those, he had to really grow up a little bit too fast um, with you know the struggles at home and stuff like that, but he's an awesome kid and I'm very happy to see the young man he's become. He really is. Yeah. He's got a special light. I, I, for sure, yeah, good energy to him. He does. Yeah. Um, something that not too many people know about you, Paul. My first name is not Paul. I know what it is. <laughs> so yeah, there's two two big things. Is one is my first name is Jason. Yes. Mom thought that Jason Paul flowed better than Paul Jason, okay. but she wanted me to go by Paul. And it's been a pain in the butt ever since. <laughs> I'd be sitting in you know class at school, people were like Jason, 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 and I'm not realizing they're talking to me and look like a total idiot. Um, and the other big one is that I was born in Jamaica. Oh. Yeah. Didn't know that one, did you? No, I didn't know that one. <laughs> Got me Got there. You off guard. <laughs> Yeah, so those are two. Those are two things that you know are good party jokes. Yeah. So, yeah, yeah. <laughs> what about uh, favorite movie, book, or quote? Movie-wise, it'd have to be Dead Poets Society. Mm -hmm. uh, Robin Williams, uh, you know, Oh yeah. Captain, My Captain. That's you know, that's a pretty awesome Classic. moment. And then uh, the one that I've gotten back in love with lately from a uh, quote slash poem is Dylan Thomas. Um, don't don't uh, do not go gentle into that good night. Mm. It's just a really great poem about people that you know. Oh, I'm getting old and I'm getting tired, and it sort of reminds you to you know to. 
you know, be feisty right to the end, as Kelly was kind of thing. Yeah. And even though there's some struggles, and even though maybe the bones aren't working as well as they used to, that uh, be feisty and fight it right to the end kind of yeah. thing. So your spirit. Big time. Oh, I love that. Yeah. What's something that always makes you smile? Even to this day, when I'm in a liquor store, I'm in a restaurant and see somebody buy our product and, you know, they don't know who I am in the room, I, I still get the same beautiful feeling off of that that somebody's supporting our business. Wow. And that makes me happy every single time. Yeah. What's your definition of success in one sentence? In one sentence, I think it's, it's if I can go home at the end of the day and be proud of the product that we made um, and feel that I'm, you know, a good person and helping out with society and stuff like that, then I feel like that is a good success. Yeah, well, so. now that you've got that beautiful storefront now, you must have that feeling. Yeah, for sure. And it's, you know, for people to come in and say, we're so glad you opened and we're so glad that you know, there's something really interesting happening in, in our neighborhood, yeah. that makes me feel good. That people are, are proud of what we've done, you know, in their neighborhood and, and proud to come in and support our business. Yeah. No, oh, we'll be back. That sounds great. <laughs> we'll have the rubber floats ready for you. <laughs> Thank you. You're very welcome. Uh, so Jason Paul Meek. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Kitchissippi Beer Company. Uh, he's the president and owner. You can, if you're in Ottawa, it's on Robertson Road in Bell's Corners, kbeer.ca. Come, come by and see Paul. Come by and try some of his great beer. Uh, Thank you. They've got some great goodies too. The Reuben sandwiches to die for, uh, and the ice cream too. That's right. Our friends at Carp Custom Creamery are set up shop on site. So ice cream, beer, sandwiches. We got it all. It's got come on down. Uh, you can also find out uh, more about Paul on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook and uh, follow him. He's got some cool things going on. And I thank you so much for coming in and sharing. Thank you, this has been fun. It's been awesome to see you again. You too, thank you so much. Thank you.